Hi guys, Lewis here with this week's episode of Piranha Bites. Now, um, I shared a very important message at the start of last one, and I'll still continue to do it. Um, our former employee, colleague, friend, etc., Greg, um, has a very serious diagnosis of liver cancer, and we have a GoFundMe up. Um, so for those of you that knew him, got on with him, remember him well, etc., please check that out, go find me page for Greg Hartley and do what you can to help out because um, anything is appreciated. And uh, Now that that's out of the way, I will get on with this week's releases. Uh, and I'll start with the highlight of the week because I'm impatient. Devil's Reign issue 4. Um, now this is probably the highlight of every week it comes out, but it's awesome. Because um, we have no Daredevil one going at the moment, this is kind of the replacement of it. Um, this is where I get my Daredevil fix and it's just amazing. Like... I would go as far as to say it's the first time a Marvel event has been decent since I've been reading comics. Um, now, it's not finished yet, so I'm hoping I'm not talking too soon, like touch wood and all that. But it's just great. Um, I, there's, there's there's stuff in there that I'm trying not to say because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But yeah, if you've been enjoying Devil's Reign, check this one out. It's arguably the most compelling issue yet. Um, this next one is an indulgence from me, but I don't care, because uh, it's me. Profit Issue 1 Facsimile Edition. A little bit of a history here. 30, year old, or 30 years of image, and then this is like uh, one of Rob Liefeld's um, main titles out of Ex Extreme Studios line that he was doing back in the 90s. Um, when each founder had their own production company, Jim Lee had Wildstorm, he had Extreme, he had Mark Silvestri with Top Cow, all that. Um, yeah, obviously, like, with facsimiles, they don't print the rest of the series, but if you want to check it out, um, also, there's going to be a film on him, I've heard, like, there's rumours and, like, options and whatever else, listening to interviews with Rob Liefeld, I know that's in the works at the moment, um, and that's why, like, Youngblood issue 2 shot up in value and whatever, but yeah, check it out, um, best Captain America rip-off ever. Uh, then next up, Patchy Delivery Service issue 2. Um, I've not had a chance to read it yet, but I remember talking uh, pretty highly of it last time when the first one came out. So I'm really interested to see where that goes. Batman Catwoman. Um, I have been saving these all up for when it finishes, because Tom King really excels at the 12-issue Maxi series. Um, so I hope it's good. Um, I'm sure it has been, because it's been a really good seller. Um, and yeah, Clayman's a really top-level artist as well. So you've got two, two good creators on there on the premiere character in comics, so I can't see why it wouldn't be good. And that brings me to my kind of, um, from the vault pit, well these, do you know what, I'll even replace that for this week. They're new releases, but they're really cool, um, really nice packages. Um, Rorschach and Strange Adventures hardcovers. Got these in a couple of weeks ago, and just what I said about Batman Catwoman, these are great examples of what Tom King can do when he's left to his own devices on a 12 issue run. I mean, personally, my favourite example of that is his vision. But he always does really interesting, really cerebral, worthwhile stuff. So, um, check those out. Uh, next up, Faithless 3, issue 1. Uh, I read the first issue of the um, the, pre the first series of it. And, um, yeah, as a relative of the top name, um, Maria Lovett is an artist he seems to like working with. Um, and, yeah, if you want your fill of um, lesbians and magic, that's where it is. Hawkeye Kate Bishop issue 4, um, I've been following this from the beginning and it's been a hell of a lot of fun and there's there's quite a few like, I'll say quite a few, at least a couple that I'm thinking of, maybe three, where they, they're giving you nothing but just fun and because comics are so held up with being depressing and existential all the time, it's really nice to have just some switch off fun books you can read and that's one of them. Uh, interesting little artifact here. Facsimile edition of Edge of Spider-Verse issue 2, which is the uh, first appearance of Spider-Gwen. And, like, the regular issue now, I mean, I haven't checked in a long time, but last time I did check was going for anything between one and £200. So that's a really easy, cheap way to get access to that issue. Next up, Justice League 72. Um, not been following this, but it's Justice League and it's Bendis, um, so you can't not talk about it because it's Justice League. And um, what's interesting is that He's doing stuff over a Dark Horse now, with Joy Operations and stuff like that, and a lot of his indie properties, like the trade paperbacks, are being reprinted by Dark Horse. But he's still doing his DC stuff. I, I heard rumours before it happened that he was going Dark Horse exclusive, but that doesn't seem to be the case. 
King of Spies issue three, Mark Miller's latest book, um, four issue mini series. That's the penultimate issue actually. So um, if you've been enjoying that, obviously don't miss out on the next one. Moon Knight issue eight. Now, not only is that Moon Knight, which is inherently cool as hell anyway, but it's a Devil's Reign tie-in. Uh, normally, I'd scoff at tie-ins because it's just like I just get me to read blah, blah blah. But because Devil's Reign is one of the best books out right now, that's just an added bonus. So definitely check that out. Norse Mythology Issue 1, well not sorry, Norse Mythology 3 Issue 1, because they keep bringing these out. Um, yeah, Neil Gaiman's latest offering, if you enjoy him, check it out. Um, and also check out the collected editions of the other Norse Mythologies if you miss those, because then you can catch up to this. Amazing Spider-Man 88.by, and these 88 dot things, or the, the decimal point insert letters here things, are a bit annoying. Um, but sometimes you get some cool stuff out of them, but... Really, uh, I'm looking forward to when they reboot to number one. Zeb Wells and John Romita Jr. Top team. Heard it's going to be really good. I um, was checking out an interview with Joe Casada the other day and he was hyping it up. I mean, of course he would, but still, it's worth it. And finally, Suicide Squad Blaze, issue one. Um, normally I'm not the hugest proponent of Suicide Squad, but this is Cy Spurrier. And he's done um, enough gems in his time to make this sort of thing, you know, worth a peruse. And... His Hellblazer run, I always go on about it every time I get an opportunity. Even if it was just for that, check out anything the guy does. And um, this here is no exception. And it's a black label book, and I really like the, the magazine sized um, presentation they do most of those titles in. Um, so that's all for me this week. As always, for a comprehensive list of everything that's out, check out Dave's newsletter. And um, that's all. I will see you guys next week. Piranha. Fight. 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 Piranha. Piranha, white, white, white. Piranha, 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 piranha.